everyone, Glenn McDonald here with 54 Bust. And today, we didn't specifically go looking for tiger muskies, but we did catch a really nice one. So we're gonna run through all our video up to the moment where we caught the tiger. We're gonna start right now. So in that opening montage, Kyla had a deep follow. I know you can't really see anything on the camera there, but it come in probably two feet down below her on a spot that we historically always see fish. So it wasn't really a surprise for us to see a fish there. And kind of the importance of that part of the video is that I was at the back of the boat and I was able to see that fish follow even when Kyla couldn't from the front of the boat and a lot of times as you're doing your figure eight around in front of your feet just the disturbance in the water at times you can't see that follow so it's always key to have somebody else in the boat with you if you can because they can be that second set of eyes and just a different angle they'll be able to see things that you can't see as you're fishing right there. So the lake we were on is historically known to have a pretty good population of tigers and like I said we weren't going there specifically looking for tigers but you always have a good shot at one and we were pleasantly surprised when we caught the big one that we did at the end of the video here. So we're going to kind of run through sequence and stick around to right at the end of the video because I'm going to show a quick preview of what's coming next week. Okay, a little setup here. This is one of our first spots of the night and I had seen a fish here, actually two fish the week earlier. Kyla's bringing it in. And she sees a late follow. I happened to just cast at the same time and I tried to pull my cast back and I splashed the water. And I think I caused the fish to turn off. So she sticks with it here for, you know, a few seconds. Sorry, babe. I just in mid cast. Yeah, when you splashed there, I was like, oh, it was huge anyway. Well, there was a smaller one, and then there was a bigger one here. That looked like the smaller of the two, but well, I would say it's smaller. If you're yeah, the other one was like a mid 40s. That was like a maybe 40. Mm -hmm. That's probably the smaller of the two we've seen here. Then. Another figure eight is key here. It's hard to see though. Yeah, it is. Oh, there he is. There he is. Oh, you're gonna get him. No, no. Oh, there he is. There he is. Oh, you're gonna get him. No, no. So what I want to talk about here is the fact that you always hear anglers say, oh, we pull hooks away from small muskies or we don't target, you know, sub 45 or sub 40 inch muskies. And while I know a lot of anglers say that, not a lot of anglers actually practice that. And I know you can't control when a fish hits way out from the boat. You don't know what it is. You have to treat it like it's going to be a nice fish. But in this case, I really want to applaud Kyla because she does not want to target small fish. And on a whole at 54 bust, if we have a chance to pull hooks away from sub 40 inch fish, we often do because there's no point hurting a smaller fish or risking it rolling up in the net because usually it's the small fish that do go ballistic in the net. And as you're trying to get the hooks out or grab the fish, you got a greater chance of getting injured or getting hooked. So I really want to applaud Kyla here for just being on the ball knowing that we had a fish around and as soon as she seen it come back out from under the boat she was just like no no i'm just gonna pull my hooks away it's not worth the picture of a sub 40 inch fish or in this case i think it was probably right around 40. so for all you anglers out there that say you don't target those fish this is how we do it when we're out fishing all right here's another near miss for kyla and i actually slow the video down here on her hook set Right here. Oh. Fish hits just off these rocks and it buckled her rod Thank over you. pretty good. She had something on there. She said she could feel the head shakes as it just wasn't hooked up and that's one of those things. It's just a little bit of a bad deal there. You can't control those. Oh, bastard. 
Okay, at this point, we kind of run around the lake a bit. We tried a couple spots. We didn't fish anything. And then Kyla made the call to go into a weed line in front of our buddy's camp. Historically, there's always been fish in the weed line. Kyla got one of her biggest ever in that weed line. So I just, I was like, okay, we're going to run down there and we're going to have a look. There's tons of kids and people around the camp. He's got a nice beach set up for families. So there's lots of people there. So we knew we had to keep our distance. So we started way out from the docks and from the weed line and we kind of slowly brought ourselves in and just as I was starting to see weeds on the graph deep weeds at like uh, a 10 or 11 foot depth the weeds were only coming up to topping out at about eight feet and we'll run the video here Willow and Travis Barker that is transparent soul you can go for it now at SiriusXM.com slash Hi I'm Mikey Pitts and this is Hitbound Post Malone's back with his classic free pop sound and mixing his roots, dropping appearances in the music video for this song from some of the biggest NASCAR drivers and hip hop stars. Take one? No. Post Malone, Motley Crue is Hitbound. Musky. Yeah. Malone, Motley Crue is Hitbound. Musky. Yeah. For a big pipe. Hey guys, Glenn McDonald here with 54 Bust. Kyla made a decision to pull into this weed line because we've had success here in the past. We just started into where the weeds are starting to see them off the surface. And I'm throwing a Dadson, same one I was throwing the other day with the dangle blade. And we got a big tiger in the bag here. We'll have a look at it. Looks like it's got a hump back or maybe it had a broken back at one time. Okay, we'll pull her out of the bag here and have a look at her. Definitely got a weird hump in the back. Yeah, it definitely there. has a weird hump in the back. But it's about a 39-ish. Yeah. Give or take. So yeah, it's a beautiful. They want to see. Big tiger! Is this waterproof? Yep. Yeah, it's always nice to Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you like this type of content, please like and subscribe or leave a comment below and we'll uh, get back to you guys as soon as we can. And until next time, we'll see you out on the water. 54 bust. Stick around. There's a preview right now. Of next week's action. Oh, it didn't go in? Oh, look at that. Oh, he swiped you hard. Oh, oh, you bit the dangle. It's a good one.